All right. I think, you know what? It is 10.01 and I want to honor your time. I want to get started on a timely basis. So we're going to get going. Like I say, if you are here to learn how to get more done in less time, how to organize your computer, how to quickly find your files and eliminate your inbox overwhelm, then guess what? You are in the right place. So I want to make sure that everything is going. Can everybody hear me? Does my, is my voice okay? Am I not too loud, not too soft? Can you see the slides? Can you see what's going on? Type in chat if you can see me, please. And let me know. Okay. Oh, good. Hey, Diane. Good to see you. Can you hear me okay? Type in chat yes, if you wouldn't mind. Um, I see you raised your hand. Okay, cool. Everybody raised their hand. Excellent. I think that means you can see me and hear me. Where's everybody from? Everybody is from, I'm here in sunny, sunny, sunny Southern California, and it is sunny outside. Actually, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope that wherever you are, you're staying a little bit cooler than hotter and that you're having some fun this summer. Uh, but hi, everybody. I love this. People are raising their hands. People are making comments. You can comment in the chat box and let me know what's shaking there. But hi. Hi, Leslie. Good to see you, girl. Good to see you. I'm so glad that everybody's here. So you know what? I'm going to jump in and get started. Uh, like I say, I'm in San Diego. I hope that you guys are all staying cool. Have some air on or some fan on. Um, I am blessed in my office that it's actually a really cool office. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off my video so that you're not focused on my face anymore. And so I'm not actually covering up the slides. I'm going to turn that off and uh, and then I'll, I'll pop back on at the end and uh, and give you some face to face time. So that is it for me. That's all you're going to see of me today until later. So I'm, I'm really, really pleased that you're here. I want to do a little bit of logistics. <clears throat> you know, you've set aside time and you've made an excellent, excellent decision to attend this class. And it's probably the best decision you've made for a while because I'm going to show you how you can earn back three hours of free time every week. That's so important. So in order to make the best of this situation, I'd encourage you to limit your distractions, turn off your beepers, ringers, and other cats and dogs uh, notifications, grab a pen and a notebook. You might want to use it later. And if you resonate with the information I teach today, you're going to receive an invitation to attend the Get It Done system, which is my upcoming training program. So here's the thing, while helping clients get their computers organized for the last 17 years, I've noticed a few recurring themes. I've seen three massive mistakes that I see them make over and over and over <clears throat> that quite honestly keep them overwhelmed and overworked. The first mistake I notice is not having a clear system for naming and saving their digital documents. You know, I know, and the same with me, we all have great intentions when we create a new document uh, to save it properly. Uh, but listen, has this ever happened to you? You create a really great document, you intend to save it right where you can find it quickly, and then you end up getting busy. And at the end of the week, you've created so many of these magical files that your desktop's all cluttered up and all those documents are mixed up together. This happens because we don't take the time to set up an understandable predetermined file folder system. And when we're finished with the project, we might have quickly moved it off to, some, you know, some of the files are on the desktop, some of them are on our hard drive, we saved them somewhere else on our computer, and then later on we need that document. And we waste hours searching for but not finding the file we need, or this is even worse, several duplications are there and they aren't all the same. And you don't know which one you need to use or which one's the best one. I know this happens because I've seen it. And so you, now you have several versions of the same file. You can't quickly see what you need. Type chat, type yes if this has ever happened to you. Type in chat yes if this has ever happened to you. Hey, it happened to me a lot before I became a professional organizer, for sure. I've been there. I've done that. Yeah, I'm with you, Muriel. It happens. I'm with you so much. It happens to everybody. The second mistake I see is clients not being able to uh, to to remember their passwords and 
Okay, I see. Yeah, something's wrong. I'm not seeing yeses. I'm seeing raise hands instead. So that's working just great. No problem. Raising your hand works fine. Anyhow, let's get back to passwords. So if you're in the situation where you constantly have to reset them, you're not alone. Uh, so what happens is as you create new passwords, you might scribble them onto a note without saving them in a place where you can actually find them. And over time, that note might get lost, the place you save your passwords missing and you get frustrated, you start using the same password or something really similar so you don't have to remember it later. Uh, yeah, raise your hand. How many times have you had to reset your password this month to be able to access a website that has information you need? Yeah, I've got six, seven, eight, nine of you. Yes, 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 yes. So come on, who wants to be the winner? Well, I don't, I think chat might not be working, but if you can type in how many numbers in chat, uh, you could be a winner, you know, maybe five times. Uh-huh. I hear you, Carol. I see you. So spending time resetting your password, saving it again somewhere else, wastes hours every week. And the main thing it is also leaves you open to possible identity theft. Speaking of thievery, okay, this leads me to the largest culprit of productivity, the big productivity vampire, and that is your inbox. Ugh. I see clients spending a good portion of their day stuck in their inbox, and they're simply trying to catch up. When this happens, your emails have moved from being a business communication tool to being a roadblock to your success, a roadblock, not a tool. Instead of getting things done and working on projects to move your business forward, you spend most of the day reacting to your inbox. For instance, you might start the day with a quick email check-in to see if there's anything urgent you need to do. And then hours later, you look up, ah, your morning's disappeared. Raise your hand if you feel like every day your few minutes checking emails turns into hours. Uh huh. And later you find yourself in the middle of a project that wasn't even on your to do list. Hey, this happens. And that's why I call email your, your energy vampire. Email communication is the number one thing that affects every single aspect of your business. It's like that love hate relationship. You have to have it, but you got to learn how to control it. Taking the time to set up systems that work for you instead of against you will always save you times and hours later. It takes time to make time, right? It's sad, but it's true. My favorite guy, Abe Lincoln, said it best when he said, every hour I spend in preparation, I save three hours of perspiration later. And think about this, time's the only thing in our life that's limited. So it pays to take time to save time, right? You have to make time to save time. According to Michael Lee Gerber, who is one of my clients, by the way, he's the author of The E-Myth. You might have heard of him. If you truly want to grow your business, systems are the key to business growth. And setting up good systems always take time. But the time taken that you take to do this is an investment in you. The only person who can invest in you is you. Okay, I'd like to share just a little bit about my background and what got me on this path. A lot of people want to know. I started out years ago as a licensed boat captain, and I was living full time on a boat out of a duffel bag. And I realized at that point, the importance of living small and being super organized because you need to get what you need to get quickly uh, if there's any type of incident. After that, I transitioned to becoming a travel writer, and I spent 42 weeks a year living out of a suitcase. Loved it. Okay. Then later I said, you know, enough wonderless. I started a publishing company and I was doing really well. We had contracts with Omnis and Marriott's all around the world. But then September 11th happened. And what happened is it was the beginning of the end for my publishing company because everything went on hold. Now, they say that every tragedy has a hidden blessing inside. And I'll never say that September 11th was a blessing, uh, was. It was a blessing to me because it gave me time to find clarity and figure out my true calling. So that blessing gave me the opportunity and the time and the space to figure out my purpose and get clear thinking on what I really loved. Well, what I figured out at the end of it all is I love systems and processes and I love being living small. So I started becoming a professional organizer on $49 because obviously I was broke. I lost my company and I started it on $49. And a few years into my career, board certification became available. So I became a board certified professional organizer. I was one of the first 247 board certified organizers in the world. I'm one of the old timers. 
And then after that, I was successfully, I was featured as a successful woman startup business by Good Morning America. That was huge for me. Now, I'm not saying this all to brag. But I know if you're like me, I like to do my background research and know that I'm taking the advice from someone who's actually qualified and walks her talk. So enough about me. Now is the time we get to dive deeper into each of these productivity culprits. The first and most crucial element for an entrepreneurial failure is not being able to find their digital documents quickly and efficiently when they need them. Many people suffer unnecessarily and waste hours performing, I call it search and rescue, with your digital documents. You know, you know you created it, but you can't find it. And your system for saving documents is broken and, and often half-baked. We're just doing it on the fly, right? Files and documents that are supposed to port, support us end up sabotaging our productivity. So let's just talk about one common mistake. There's no predetermined file naming protocol. There's three versions of the same document saved with three different names and saved in three different places. Do you have some of your documents on your hard drive, some on a remote disk and some saved on your computer, some saved somewhere to the cloud? Raise your hand if that's happened to you. Yeah, if you have multiple documents for projects scattered around, including not two, but limited to like two, three, four, uh, being saved on your computer, desktop, or on your phone, or maybe there's even a newer, better version on your laptop. Raise your hand if you feel like every few days you lose track of your most recent version. I did a little marketing research survey before this and found out that the majority of people have multiple versions, but they don't know which one's the right one to use. Um, this is one small example of what I call document file dysfunction. So, you know, this is the challenge. Multiple files are saved into folders that just don't make sense, right? So you have these folders, you kind of made them up, you saved them somewhere, and this saves, this makes us lose massive amounts of time. So how much time you might ask? Okay, you're going to be surprised by this. There's such an enormous amount of time wasted on search and rescue. Back in 2001, people wasted two and a half hours a day or 12 and a half hours a week searching for documents, right? They know they need it. In 2008, uh, we learned a little more. We got a little bit better. We only wasted five hours a week. But uh-oh, in 2008, we backslid <laughs> to 8.8 .8 hours a week. I, I wonder what happened to that year. Don't know. Then in 2012, we made progress. I guess you could call it that. We went back to simply only wasting five hours a week. And interestingly, in 2013, it took us an average of 18 minutes to find one single document. Fast forward to right now in 2022. Even with the increase in speed and increases in searching and finding mechanism, we still have trouble in document retrieval paradise. In fact, in a recent survey, more than four out of five office professionals can't find an important document in quotes when a boss or client has put them in the hot seat. <laughs> it's very quite embarrassing. Under normal conditions, 49% of the respondents say they have trouble locating documents just every day. 33% struggle with challenges of multiple versions of the same document. So for those of you who raise your hands, you're not alone. And they've said that searching for files and documents is a top three problem, according to 54% of the professionals. Searching for much needed files in a cluttered file system puts the brakes on your productivity. It really does, folks. Nearly one in five of the thousand one US professionals ranked, uh, surveyed, ranked diving for files they need as the number one problem to support the future of remote work. Now, a lot of us are working remotely, right? So this is so important and that's why the Get It Done system that begins August 10th provides a master file structure that's tried, tested and true to be a common to a solution for this common problem. Losing or misplacing a file is no fun. Within seconds, days or even weeks, your work could disappear. Documents that are supposed to port you, I can't even talk right today. Documents that are supposed to support you are actually sabotaging your productivity. So let's talk about one common theme, no set place for saving your important documents. Do you have files inside of folders that are not named properly? Mm -hmm. Yes, I hear you. See, you're raising your hands. Have you ever panicked because you couldn't find a certain key file you were looking for on your computer and you just needed to have it right away? Sure. 
Most computers, you know, let you search their contents by name, but that can take a long time because if you are just making names on the whim and don't remember what you called it, it doesn't really even matter, right? So, uh, and you, and, or you named it right, but if you're like you, me, you have a penchant for forgetting what you named them. <laughs> it's all too easy to be tempted to save everything you're working on on your desktop, okay, where it's readily at your disposal. But please, gang, do this really sparingly because nothing makes a computer look more cluttered than having a sea of icons greet you every time you turn it on. A little work organizing your desktop or laptop can go a long way later. Raise your hand if you feel like every few days you lose files or you feel like you have to perform a search and rescue operation once again for that little project that's so important. This is one small example of systems that not been properly developed. I call it half-baked systems. It takes time to make the proper system in order to give yourself more time. According to Wakefield Research, the search for work content is killing your time. Constant searching for documents during the workday is, redu is reducing everyone's productivity. Workers, notably those challenged by multitasking or with ADD like me, are less likely to make an easily searchable folder or create a more organized system on the fly. They do best with file structures defined in advance. So let's talk about the second top challenge, which is safely saving and creating passwords next. Okay, I know you know it's not good to use the word password as your password or your pet's name or your birthday, but the worst thing you can do with your passwords, and more than 50% do this according to a study by Virginia Tech, is reuse the same name across multiple sites. Even if one of those accounts is compromised, it doesn't matter how strong that password is, you know, you got all whiz bangy on it and made it brilliant. If one of those is compromised, hackers can easily use it to get into your other accounts. So trying to do the right thing with your passwords and security has major consequences that you might not even be aware of. Even in 2019, individuals spend an average of just over 12 minutes a week entering resetting passwords. That means in total, almost 11 hours are lost every year, just resetting passwords. Yeah, how many times have you had to reset your password in order to access a website that's had information that you need? Spending time resetting, saving it again, wastes hours out of your week, and leaves you open for possible identity theft. Not having a secure vault system to save your passwords is one mistake that's immediately opening you up to identity theft. In fact, this uh, Ubico did this survey of 1,761 people, and more than half polled say they'd experienced cyber attack in their personal life. Raise your hand if you've been had your person your, your, your stuff stolen. But you know what's interesting? Uh, with every new breach, Yubigo says, with every new password breach that we see, it's become increasingly clear that new security approaches are needed to help individuals manage and protect their accounts, both personally and professionally. And you know what's really strange about this survey? 57% um, of those who experienced a cyber attack didn't change their password behaviors. Like what, 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 what? So 43% changed their wily ways. Over half of them didn't even change anything even after they've been hacked. Wow. So say, yeah, you know, raise your hand if you've had someone steal your online identity. Yeah, I know probably you have. Uh, at least over 50% of us have. And if you've been known to say your passwords in a little book called Passwords that lives next to your computer, some, some of my clients have used that as their method. But I don't, I don't like this because don't you think burglars are now looking for and taking those little books when they steal your laptop? Those books are always right by your laptop. I know, been there, done that, seen it. They're, you betcha, they're stealing the password book as well. Why wouldn't they? So stay with me because I want to talk now about the number one thing that affects every single aspect of your business. When you understand its potential to wreak havoc, you'll realize it's one of those insidious things that's actually affecting you every single day while you're working. An overflowing inbox is the biggest mistake that's robbing you of your precious time, money in the bank, along with emotional and mental well-being. Here's the thing. Every single email that enters your inbox, I don't know if you know this, represents a call to action. It's someone who wants you to do something, 
reply, research, hit the button, check out this page, yada, yada, yada. It, it is a, an, a, it's a reactive thing. So when you go into your inbox, you want to be proactive, not reactive and doing what everybody wants you to do right away. And every unread email is clutter. It clutters your mind about things that you've left undone. Emails that are read and then not responded to or acted upon also create niggling thoughts in the back of your mind, probably even while you're working on another project. Emails are the great distractor. You can easily get sucked into whatever the email is asking you to do. And before you even realize that you're off visiting a website off at the latest, coolest thingamajiggy on the market today at a discount. Can you guys relate? Yeah. A few minutes or even an hour later, you look up and realize you were derailed. You try to get that to work. But guess what? It takes an average of 23 minutes to get back focused into what you were actually working on. So here's a super common scenario. You're on the phone, you see an email notification that a client was asking about something you forgot to send, and then it triggered you into a thought about somewhere else and, you know, whatever. You're like, oh, my God, I didn't even respond to that. Now you're not even present to who you're speaking with on the phone. They can tell. And so that random email literally takes your time away and attention away before you even realize it. And it starts to make your brain sort of ADD. Because guess what? You've constantly have emails that are triggering you into different thoughts on completely different subjects. So see what you're doing now with your inbox is these emails are triggering your ADD. One of my clients, Kylie, gave me permission, she's so sweet, to recount her story to you. She's the marketing director for an internationally respected uh, health guru. And she said this, one day before I began using the Get It Gone system, I was called into my boss's office. He was super nice and I was not in real trouble, but he wanted to make me aware that I've been sending him over 30 emails a day. She said at that point, I almost fell off my chair when he said that because I had no idea. After I began using the Get It Gone system, I was able to organize my thoughts and stop sending him random emails. And instead, I now send him only one to two important emails every day with less effort, less stress, and I get a lot more done. Woo I'm glad he was so cool about that. Thanks for everything, Kyla. Good thing he had a nice, she had a nice boss, huh? Taking the time to create a better system and create order in your workspace also helps the creative flow in your mind, which in turn helps the monetary flow in your business. By the way, Kyla got promoted to VP of Marketing Worldwide a little over a year later. Yahoo! Ryan Tracy said it this way. Every minute you spend planning since you 10 minutes gives you 10 minutes in execution. This gives you 1000% return on your energy. I always tell my clients, give me one hour and I'll give you back 10. I see it happen all the time. It's now statistically proven that email sucks up nearly half of our time at work. With the average person sending and receiving 124 emails a day, and this was from last year, or 620 emails every week, we're spending an average of one and a half minutes on each email, 1.1 actually. It doesn't stop there though. Every time you stop what you're doing to check your email, you lose focus on what you're working on. The average person needs 23 minutes to get fully back on task after they get out of their inbox. So let's say you interrupt your work to check your email five times throughout the day. That's another 1.9 hours down the drain. That's almost two hours a day, not spent on email itself, but spent purely in that fuzzy period of time when you're trying to get fully back on task. In total, reading, writing, getting refocused, checking your email takes up 1,048 hours each year. That's 52% of your time at work. Entrepreneurs, I think we waste more. We waste almost six months or 24 weeks out of every year monitoring and responding to our emails. Would you rather have that 24 weeks a year making sales? What would that look like in your business? Or what if you spent 24 weeks of time each year with your children? What would that mean to you and your family? Wouldn't you want that extra 24 weeks a year? And wouldn't you rather have been on vacation for those 24 weeks or saving that extra money you would make towards retirement? Honestly, really? I know I would. Besides losing time, there are many other things that happen when you have an inbox overwhelm. You actually lose money. You could be losing customer inquiries or referrals because you're not on top of your communication. You might even appear unprofessional, right? Because you're due to your lack of follow-up. 
if you're on a paperless billing system, but haven't set up auto pay, you're not on top of what bills you're supposed to pay because they got buried inside your inbox. And if you're like this client with over 14,000 emails inside our inbox, you're not on top of unreturned phone calls. See, there's 456 there because you're too far behind on everything else. Now, this is the common snowball effect when you're in email overload. So a lack of system to handle your email overload is the best place that's immediately literally taking money out of your pocket. If you were just to spend time, just increase your follow-up, let's say 20%, you could put that extra 20% money in your bank account. This is one bad habit that's immediately taking money out of your business. So the only way you can stay focused, build your business is to limit the amount of time you spend in your inbox. You know, the Tim Ferriss thing, you know, check your email once a week. Well, you know, it might not be practical and I don't really think it's practical, but he was right on target when he said, you'll save yourself so much time later and you'll be able to actually focus and get stuff done. And he's got a lot of stuff done. Remember before COVID and, uh, you know, you probably had less emails. You hadn't spent hours on armchair shopping and getting on even more email lists. Hey, it happened to me. You know, you start doing that. So raise your hand if you've ever found an old email that you needed to follow up on because it was truly influential. And now it's been several months and you're too embarrassed to follow up. You're not alone. I see you out there. You know, you're not alone if you made the excuse, uh, yeah, sorry, your email was in my spam folder. I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, this is a common scenario, common excuse for those who are e email overwhelmed. A recent survey by Top Form said a little over 40% respondents say they believe the answer to better email management is to learn and use better practices. And this is exactly what the Get It Done system is designed to help you do. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the thing. Every broken system in your life affects every other system. If you suffer from Eva overwhelm, you probably also have a cluttered desktop like this. Taking the time to create better systems and create order in your workspace helps the creative flow of your mind, which in turn always helps the monetary flow in your business. So let's do the math on all three of these to see what it really means to you. Think about this. According to a recent study, the average entrepreneur wastes three hours a week searching for missing computer documents. Individuals spend over, on average, over 12 minutes every week entering and resetting passwords. I actually think it's probably more than that because I've been there and see my clients do it. But that's, they say 12 minutes a week. Let's be safe with that. Almost 11 hours each year are lost resetting passwords. For every 40 hours you work, <clears throat> you're going to spend two of those stuck inside your inbox. That's 25%. In total, reading, writing, getting refocused after checking your email takes up to 1,048 hours each year. So until you begin to take control and learn new habits, the total time wasted right now on emails, lost documents, missing passwords eats up 52% of your time at work. 52%. Over 50% is spent wasted just trying to find things, reset things, locate things, or going off into la-la land with your inbox. <laughs> Creating a system to control your inbox, handle your documents, manage your passwords makes it much easier to catch yourself using bad habits right away and do the right thing and do the tasks the right way. Creating new habits with a mentor is a process and helps you move past procrastination. My clients all always complain this. They say, I know what I should do, but I don't. Then I beat myself up and the feeling of defeat's holding me back. I want to do things the right way, but I don't know what the exact right way is. No one ever taught me how to deal with all these emails, keep my password safe, or even how to properly name and save my documents. This, my friends, is exactly why I've created the Get It Done system. The Get It Done system will give you back time and save you stress and duress, hunting for and not finding documents, resetting your passwords, and living your life in your inbox. Stay with me just for a little bit longer. <clears throat> this is a point where you get to make one of the most critical decisions you're ever going to make that will change the course of the way you do business. It will actually buy you back at least one month every year. It will actually stop you from feeling overwhelmed. It'll give you more sleep. You'll stop dreaming about your to-do list and you wake up more energized. It will not only help you feel productive and accomplished, it will actually give you access to systems that work on a continual basis 
and you'll get more passion, more creativity, and more importantly, access to receiving a whole lot more money in your life. This is the moment where you get to make a critical decision. So here's the question. Are you ready to make a shift in your business? Are you ready to give yourself the luxury of a month back every month? Are you ready to experience ease and flow where you can find documents, passwords, and other information you need immediately so that you feel a sense of accomplishment at the end of every day? Because this is your decision right now. There are many people that I know right now it's a solid yes. I'd like for those of you that are ready to buy back time, get more organized, put systems in place in the easiest, simplest, and step-by-step -step way, I invite you to stay with me because I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. I created a program for people exactly like you and your situation, no matter who you are. And what I talk about in one of the three challenges you're experiencing, maybe one, two, or even all three, I created a program for people like you who are creative, who are passionate, who want to spend more time helping other people and more people instead of looking for things, who want to get better sleep with less stress, and who want to spend more time waking up and doing fun things because you have more money in your pocket. I created a program just for you that overcomes the single, every single one of these three issues in a most organized, step-by-step, -step, easily consumable, easy to implement system that walks you through every single steps and takes care of all three challenges. Like this client, let me share just one more person that went through this process and what they said and what they experienced. Kathy did the impossible, took my overstuffed, disorganized file system, system, yeah, right? I can hear her laughing about that right now, and turned it into a streamlined, workable, user-friendly tool. I love to save files now because I know where they go, and I know where I'll be able to find them. What a blessing. Kathy knew just what I needed to keep and what I needed to delete. Do you know how liberating that is? Bottom line is, the more organized you are, the more efficient you are, and that adds up. It was well worth the investment, and you only have to do it once. I created this course specifically for you. Raise your hand if you feel like you're experiencing the challenge of not enough time, your finances are not flowing, and you're always running behind. It's probably because you're wasting four hours every week or four, and four weeks out of every year. You know you need to tackle your issues, but you're not sure how to do it. All right, for those of you that are still with me and know that you're ready to make a decision, I want you to know that I really hear your pain. For the last 17 years, I've been hearing about not being able to sleep well. There's so many people that can't sleep well or not being able to take a vacation without stressing out. I even had a client who re lived on a, a beautiful home on a golf course. She did, refused to play golf because she was too guilty about all the stuff that she needed to do. So I created this course specifically because what you're experiencing right now, maybe it's overwhelm, maybe it's a lack of direction, not taking a vacation because you have goals that are never getting met. There's amazing projects that have been on the back burner forever without completion. Believe me when I say it all comes down to organizing your digital life and getting your stuff organized. The loose solution for all these ailments is to take control of your email organize your documents, be able to log into websites you need quickly and safely and work on an organized computer. You need a system for saving the documents and emails you need as they enter your life, a place for them to live while you need them and find them quickly and most importantly, an archival strategy to get most of out of sight when you're through with the project. This is what's inside the Get It Done system. This is a simple way to get clarity Get more done, have less stress, be on top of your game, and it's all about taking control and organizing the digital information in your life. At this, point, at this point, you might be thinking, well, okay, yeah, sure, Kat, but how much time is this going to take? <laughs> and I'll be 100% honest and transparent. If you show me a computer desktop that was so loaded with files that we couldn't even find the mouse and said, hey, we're going to lick this in an hour. The only way you're going to get that done in an hour is if we bring in a bulldozer and literally run over your hard drive. That's the only way we'll get rid of that chaos in an hour. So what I'm asking you now is, do you want to do it fast or do you want to do it only once and the right way? The Get It Done system will show you how to do it the right way in a way that accelerates at a later date, like having way more time, more money, more possibilities in the space for new clients. This will all accelerate if you invest a little bit of time and energy right now. 
And remember, for every minute you spend in planning, we'll save you 10 minutes in execution. This gives you a thousand percent return on energy. This means literally for every hour you give me, I'll give you 10 hours back. Do you think that's a good investment? Yeah, raise your hand if you think so. I designed this class to be delivered to do... <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can talk. I designed this class to be delivered live and in super simple format. It's a live four week course, plus a bonus session on week five. You're going to get a new module every week with easy to implement strategies to walk you step by step. I've organized it in a way that's entirely and super easy to consume. The modules are live with companion handouts. You'll have checklists to reference everything as you walk through it. There, you'll be able to customize your new documents filing system with your own words so that you can remember them. And the workbook, which accompanies each session, also lists for the exact next action step to take. So it literally outlines every step of each process. You'll be able to take it with me step by step, document by document, password by password, including your inbox overload. You'll have 24 seven access to the recordings of the presentations, just in case you have to miss any, because I know life happens. And by the end of the course, you're going to put hours back into your life, money right back into your pocket. And I'll give you my five step strategy that will work for you forever. This is a one hour class once a week for four weeks. By the end of the four weeks, you're going to walk away with a complete digital organizing plus password, plus password vault that works and supports you every single day. Look, I'm, I'm loaded in my client or client. God, if I could talk right, it'd be great today. I'm loaded in my calendar right now. Like I'm not 95% full. And that's actually the reason I'm doing this class because I want every single entrepreneur who's having issues with organization and no systems in place to thrive with less clutter and more clarity. The reason this course lasts four weeks is that's how long it takes to change your habits. I always say four to six weeks to change your wily ways. And I'm serious about helping you get habits and get results that stick. This is not a fly in the pan thing. Here's the thing. You can't scale your business without good systems. If you were to hire me one-on-one, -on -one, it would cost you around 10 to 15 grand for me to do every single thing that I walk you through easily, simply, and very practically in this program. If you were to hire me to do this from start to finish, it would literally be about 15 grand. And by the way, I've had clients pay me that. I've had clients actually have me redo their entire systems from start to finish, redo their database, have me show them literally how to rename their files and, and actually reorganize them for them. I've had people do that. And I have five more of these types of people. If So if that's your budget and you want to come in and have me do it, I can. And if you're across the world, we can do it over Zoom or you can fly me in and it's probably going to cost you around 15 to 25K. But I'm going to tell you right up front that I put everything in the get it done system that I would tell you and that I would use and would apply to your business. I walk you through all of this in this program. Some people just want me to hold their hand and there's nothing wrong with that. I actually enjoy working one-on-one. -on -one. So fly me in, do it one-on-one -on -one if you're ready to do it in a small group setting with full accountability. This is your ticket and costs a lot less. Your investment for this four module course is only $9.95. Stay with me for a few more minutes and I'm gonna show you how you can save an extra 400. So let's break it down. <coughs> Let me get a little glass of water here. Week one, we're gonna organize your digital files. That includes a done for you organized file systems architecture. You'll learn exactly where to save and how to name your important digital documents to enter your life. You'll be able to find your documents you need within 30 seconds, and you'll be able to delete, delete duplicates and old copies in a snap and feel good doing it. Week two, we're going to show you how to safely and securely guard your passwords. We're going to give you a done for you password vault, and this will allow you to find your passwords you need in 30 seconds or less. You'll keep your online identity safe and secure. And after that, you'll be able to easily access your passwords anywhere in the world with one login. Week three will be all about taming that wily inbox. You'll be able to eliminate and save emails with the easy strategy. You'll delete your oldie, old, oldie moldy zillions of emails in a snap. You'll utilize and teach mass unsubscribe strategies. You'll take control of your incoming emails and you'll save time with an outbound email strategy that actually works. Week four is where I'm going to talk to you about the various options open to you for cloud-based technology, and we'll help you implement whatever system works best for you. 
if you want to use the cloud. Exploring the best options for the way you think will help you understand and best utilize the best cloud that there is out there for you. And you'll be able to create and save digital files into the cloud and easily access those documents anywhere in the world when you go on to whatever system it is that you decide you wanna use. Week five is a bonus week. I'm doing this as it's as a wrap up session. There'll be live Q and A. Uh, we'll, you'll get personalized help to tie up any loose ends you have. Uh, we'll help you finish saving important passwords and highly other, other insensitive information you want to put into your vault. And you'll be able to migrate your my, remaining files into a file folder structure. So this is a wrap up session for those who need it. What I've learned after conducting training programs for the last 17 years is it helps to celebrate our wins. So throughout the class, I give away Amazon gift cards and other prizes as we spend time each week celebrating each person's personal successes. Speaking of prizes, I've also added 11 bonus items to this class that are valued at over $5,400. Your first bonus is an autographed copy of my best-selling book, How to Master Your Map. I'm going to ship that to your doorstep as soon as you join. This book will help you develop better time management strategies, organize your paper piles, and create a good customer database, and more. Your second bonus is a done for you password vault. This will give you a jump start in creating a better way to protect your identity, and will save you hours, hours of frustration resetting your passwords later. The third bonus is a time management checklist. This 12-point checklist will help you take control. And as you know, I've said it over and over time, it's the number one thing you can't make more of. And I put this checklist together because saving time is an essential skill set because our time on this planet is limited and it pays to track how and where we're spending it. The fourth bonus is a video to help you learn how to make changes in your life with more confidence and less stress. This is an on-demand video training program that you can watch anytime you wish, even after the class ends. The next bonus is a free report called Simple Office Organizing. This special report covers multiple organizing tactics for your workspace, the actual office layout and design, including how to keep your personal life separated from your business life. I call it separation of church and state, setting up a proper supplies cabinet, and it also gives you 11 ways to master your schedule. Your sixth bonus is an on-demand video training to show you how to power up your productivity in five easy steps. We all need to get more done in less time, and when you're powered up and energized, this always happens. Bonus number seven includes real-time answers to all of your questions during this training program. Seven days a week for all five weeks, your questions are responded directly from me to you. Yeah, personalized answers. Your eighth bonus is having an accountability partner to help you stay focused and on task as you create system to support your business. A big lesson my clients have taught me over the past 17 years is that they want and need help from someone to keep their accountable. And this is what we'll be doing throughout this training. As a special bonus, another added on bonus to this bonus is it, many of my people say that they end, up, they end up reporting back later that they now have a new friend and they're continuing their accountability session with the person that they had in class. So that's pretty cool. As you all know, together we're better, and the most successful entrepreneurs have support groups to help keep them focused and motivated, and that's what this is all about. Bonus number nine is an ebook designed to help you energize and organize six more aspects of your personal life that I haven't even talked about here. Bonus 11 will show you how to eliminate your email deluge. And if you're a professional who loves using simple, sustainable systems to increase your profits, you can use the method I show you inside this report, and it will work for you for sure. Okay, so to wrap it up with a bow on top, something I've never done before is I'm offering three free months of group coaching. I love this bonus. You'll be a member of my monthly live group training program, and it, this program is designed for those who want to take their business and productivity to the next level. We meet once we meet live every month, once a month, and it helps everyone move forward on group and individual projects. How does this one sound to you? Raise your hand if you like that one. 
So everyone who joins will receive an autographed copy of Master Your Mug, a Done For You Password Vault, a six-step checklist to help you take control of your time, training to help you learn how to embrace change with less stress. You know, a lot of people need to learn how to embrace change and not be stressed out about it. The simple office organizing report. You'll also receive productivity video training program, real-time answers to your specific questions from me to you seven days a week during the class, an accountability partner to help you stay focused and get more things done, organizing tips to help you optimize the personal parts of your life, a checklist to help you handle your email deluge, plus three free months of group coaching. With all parts of this program combined, the full value is $5,484.92. <laughs> also, you can give yourself an extra month of income, whatever amount that means to you, because every year from now on, you're going to save a month in productivity and you'll get more done each and every year simply from taking the time to get organized. But, okay, of course, instead of charging you $5,484.92, I'm only asking you to invest $9.97 for all of this. And as promised, because you guys have been really patient and been on this call for almost an hour, you can grab the elite investment discount of $400 today and pay only $597 using the code DONE. Since this is my first Get It Done group workshop, I'm offering you this $400 coupon. This way, every can, everyone can afford it, no matter what your situation is. So for those of you who are ready to go, I know there are a few out there right now. I have a fast action bonus available, which is $150 value to add on to all of this. It's a private one-on-one -on -one training session with me. I can pinpoint your largest productivity blocks and show you what you can do right away to organize your business. So for the first 15 people that register right now, I'm going to give you a free 30-minute session with me. What happens in the 30 seconds, I can look at your situation. I, I ask you in about five minutes, a bunch of questions. And then the last, in the last 25 minutes, giving you guidance and direction. I'll know the state of your office, the state of your mind and instantly tell you where to begin before the class even starts. I'll break it down for the next 25 minutes. And this helps you build momentum. It often happens when you fix one, one hole, and you, know, you, you fix one plug, so to speak, it fixes a whole bunch of other things at the same time. You could also use the, uh, you could also use your 30 minutes time anytime later when you're feeling overwhelmed and need more clarity. Ah, this, the link is wrong, I've been just told. It's get it done system. Dot com. Let me go back to that. Getitdonesystem.com. Sorry, I messed that one up. So by the way, for those of you who are still on the fence, I'd like to you to make this a risk-free decision. If by the end of the first session, you feel you're not going to save hours later, or you're simply not happy and want 100% of your money back, I'll give it to you. And you can keep all the bonuses for free. So it's risk-free, gang. I just want you to feel like you really want to be in the class, that it's going to work for you. You want to do what it takes to get it done. If you get into the class and you feel like it's just not for you, no problem. Just let me know. I want to part ways as friends. No questions asked. So yes, the uh, getitdonesystem.com is the link. I'm going to put it right here. Sorry about that typo in the last one. So, you know, I just want to say I appreciate the time you've taken to be here today. You know, if you haven't signed up yet and you really want that fast action bonus, it looks like, you know, for the first 15 people, they're going to get it. So there's a couple spots that are still available. Please make sure you get that in. I keep this open for like a half hour after the class goes because I know a lot of you aren't fast typers. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if, you, if you're trying to type it in, but you're not that quick at the draw, uh, go ahead and do getitdonesystem.com backslash done. And this is a time where um, I'm going to answer any questions that you have. Uh, there's never a few questions, there's never a bad question in my mind, except one that's burning in your mind and never asked. So it looks like chat's not working. Um, okay, so my assistant is so cool. Uh, she is going to give me the questions that you've asked. I'm so sorry, for some reason, chat's all screwed up today. Okay, question was, is inbox zero a myth? Well, 
I think it is quite honestly. I think that if you're at inbox zero, uh, you're probably spending too much time getting there. Um, you know, it's all a degree of how comfortable you feel in your inbox. There is no one way to do anything. In my opinion, I just talked to someone yesterday and she said, you know, I had, I went for, this is a client. She said, I had 43,000 emails in my inbox at one point, and now I have less than 50 every day. And that feels really good to me. And my husband has inbox zero all the time. And he thinks I'm crazy thinking 50 is, is okay. But you know, it, it's whatever works for you. Um, some people do do inbox zero. Some people get completely stressed out doing the inbox zero tactic. So in my opinion, it's whatever really works best for you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, help you with whatever system works for you. That's what it's all about. There's no cookie cutter training uh, system here. It's all about you. And that's why the live Q&A is so very important throughout the process and the live sessions are so important to me. Okay, the promo discount again is, is use the word done. So if you go to getitdonesystem.com and, and then you type in the word done when you get to that page, that will give you your 50% off offer. What do I use for passwords? That's a question. I use a password vault called LastPass. It's my favorite one. There's so many ones to use out there. Um, we're going to give you the, uh, the, the LastPass vault, but some of you might have other vaults that are already kind of in operation and halfway limping along. Whatever vault you decide that you want to use, we're going to help you with that, help you make it uh, safe and secure, help you get, get it the rest of it done. What I found is a lot of people have half-baked, what I call half-baked password vaults, and they aren't really completely doing what everything that they can do. So we're going to help you uh, do whatever system you want. But LastPass is my favorite one, and it's free. Uh, yes, the vault is done for you. So if you decide that you uh, want to start fresh or you haven't ever had one, uh, we're going to do a done-for-you password vault. So yes, it is done for you. Okay, the class starts on August 10th and it runs for four weeks. So it's every Wednesday, same time, same bat channel as right now, 10 a.m. Pacific time. And it goes for uh, one hour each week. And then throughout the week, I'm available for Q&A to answer any questions as you go through the processes and go through the worksheets and get stuff done. So it's one hour a week live class. So it's August 10th, 17th, 23rd, and 30th. And then there's a bonus session on the week of, Memor of Labor Day for anybody who wants to just continue forward or has more stuff that they want to clean up uh, on that week. Yeah, so that's when it starts. August 10th, so mark that in your calendar. Okay, another question is, I'm not good at estimating how long it takes to do something, and I always deliver projects late. Yeah, the, so this is a common phenomenon. Once you get used to being organized and you have more of a structured environment, you know how long it'll take, you know where to find your documents, so to speak, and that kind of thing, you, you have your life more organized, you immediately begin to have more identification of how long it takes you to do things. In fact, what I think is a spinoff of taking a class like this is that you begin to realize how much time it takes to really do things. So one thing I always suggest is uh, oh, uh, overestimate how long it's going to take so, so that you can over deliver. So if you think something might take you five hours, say that it's going to take you eight hours. And then when you deliver it in six hours, you look like a hero. So, you know, over, uh, what is it? Over promise and under deliver. No, over deliver and under promise, whatever it goes, either way, spend more time saying that it's going to take longer than you think it's actually going to take. And then when you over deliver and get it done faster, you look like a hero. And there's a lot of timers and a lot of other tools that you can take um, that you can uh, use to help you keep on track and know how much time it takes you to do something. 
Um, can your assistant come to the class with you? Yes, if your assistant is going to be a silent participant but actually help you implement, absolutely, we will give your client access to the class as well. That's super important. And you know that's a great question because uh, in my last class, someone had an assistant that was there and that helped her extremely get more stuff done. So yeah, if you have an assistant, I love delegating and delegating is a huge, huge uh, asset to your business to learn how to delegate. So I encourage any and all assistants to be on the calls as well and being in the live training sessions for sure. Uh, the discount's going to last uh, the, well, the fast time action bonus is only for the first 15 people. So the first 15 people that sign up, get that free 30, 30 minutes with me, uh, which will jumpstart everything for you. So if you think you're going to do it, uh, go ahead and grab the fast action bonus and be one of the first, first, first 15 who join. Uh, the discount code will last uh, until Sunday night at midnight. So, you know, for some of you who need to see if it'll fit in your schedule, um, you know, I know it's all affordable for everybody, but if you just want to figure things out and make sure that it's a good fit for you. The discount code will go away midnight, midnight on Sunday night. Okay, so you can keep that code done uh, for that. Do you have to attend every class is another question. Um, no, you don't have to attend every class. It's encouraged because you can get your you can get actual real time you know, Q&A and work with the group during the workshop setting. But no, if you need to skip a class, that's why the recordings are there on demand. And actually, I had a few of my clients, a uh, few of the students last time who had to miss a couple classes due to work obligations, and they were able to pop right in and see the class that night and do the work and be back right on track. So you don't have to attend. It's not mandatory attendance. Of course, it's suggested because uh, you'll get more motivated and inspired when you're in the group setting. But yes, you can absolutely listen to them uh, on demand after the fact. In fact, sometimes uh, people actually want to, uh, well, they've told me that they watch the sessions over and over in between the class periods, and that helps them really solidify uh, things that, they're, that they need to learn. Okay, so I don't see PayPal as an option. Uh, yes, you can absolutely, we were having some issues with, with our uh with tech today and PayPal just would not want to respond to us. And, you know, with PayPal, you can put it, you can split it into payments and you can also uh, do the six months same as cash deal if you have PayPal. So if you want to use PayPal, you can absolutely reach out to me, go to support at organized and energized.com. Uh, we'll put that in chat for you support it, organize and energized.com. And in the subject line, just put PayPal or Zelle. Uh, you can pay any way you want. Uh, you can definitely pay via Zelle um, or PayPal. And like I say, if you need a payment plan or you want to go on the six months same as cash, which is what I do for every class I join, uh, you can go ahead and use PayPal. Just go ahead and do support at organizedandenergized.com and we will help you uh, get it done, <laughs> get it done and pay. Okay. Uh, I have more than one computer, an iPad, a phone. Yeah, I want you to sync all of that stuff. So yes, we're going to talk about that because that's the problem when you have three different instruments and they're not all synced together. Then you, that's how you end up with documents spread out everywhere or you know passwords one place and not the other place. Absolutely. We're going to have the vault set up on all of them. We're going to have, uh, you know, drive set up on all of them or whatever cloud you have. Yeah, you're going to want to sync all of those puppies together and in the chaos because <laughs> that's what causes a lot of chaos is using three different systems, uh, three different devices, I should say, with three different systems. Okay, another question. How often every day should you really check email? Well, I'm a big proponent for checking email only twice a day. Never first thing in the morning, never, ever, ever before you figure out what you're going to do. Do not go into your inbox. Don't check email first thing in the morning. But I like to check it right before lunch and right at the end of the day. Um, that really helps me stay on task. So I check it twice a day. And if you can check it once a day, it's even better. Absolutely. Do not like, remember what I said, if you check your inbox, it's not just the time that you spend in 
in the inbox is 23 minutes to get back on task. That's exactly why I check it right before lunch because I don't, I can get, you know, spend 23 minutes just getting my sandwich and getting lunch together as opposed to trying to get focused back into work. So you need to definitely guard how often you check it. And when you check it, I always say guard your inbox with your life because it is your life that gets sucked away uh, by times. Okay, last question. Do you turn off all your notifications, Slack, Skype, et cetera? Absolutely, positively. When I am in deep thought and I am in project mode, I turn off every single notification that comes into me, even my phone. And people will find that out. They're like, why didn't you answer the phone? It's because I have my ringer turned off because I was doing my big project. So yeah, I absolutely turn off all my notifications, bells, beepers, bingers. Oh, I have not had my email binger turned on for like, a decade. So absolutely. That's one thing I can tell you. If you have email notifications being at you, turn them off because you don't want to get sucked into email oblivion by an alarm. Anybody else out there have any other questions? You know, I, I'm just so grateful. I'm so very grateful for you guys being here. And I just want to say thank you for joining me. Um, I think also, you know, you're going to go the get it done system. I think that's also a wrong link. <laughs> Excuse me. Just go to get it done system.com and you'll find your way. But, you know, if you haven't signed up yet and you really want that fast action bonus, go ahead and sign up and uh, get that. You know, first 15 are going to get 15 minutes. Th actually, first 15 are going to get 30 minutes with me uh, right away, or you can use it as you need it. You know, some people save that 30 minute bonus session for when the class is done or even, you know, a month or two later down the road that they just feel like they need clarity and their productivity is, you know, not what they want it to be. So you can use that 13 minute, 30 minutes, anytime you want. Um, so grab the fast action bonus, go to get it done system.com right now. The first 15 are going to get it. And I don't know how many we ha have signed up already. Uh, maybe there's a few spots still open. So please make sure you get that in, go to getitdonesystem.com and use the code done to get that discount. Meanwhile, I really appreciate your time. It's been an honor and an extreme pleasure for you being here. And if there's no more questions, I'm going to sign off.